what up YouTube so what do I got for you today today well we're gonna go over some finances um, if you're thinking of building your engine um, your Honda K series your ninth gen engine you may want to you know get an idea of what it actually costs to get that done um, now is it expensive yeah depends on who you are depends on your budget depends on what your goals are um, I personally managed to be able to buy all this stuff um so for me so, some of these things were not expensive some of the the cost of things were justifiable based on the materials and you know the the value that you get out of some of the stuff um for someone else that may not be the case um so what i'll go ahead and do now is i went through all of the um uh prices of things that i purchased and things that i thought were um necessary for a a K series engine build now this price will vary based on who you buy it for from and you know whether you can find a discount here or there find every discount you can these things do cost quite a bit of money um so you know if, if you have a good retailer if you got a good relationship with the person you buy from always say hey man can you save me 20 bucks here and there uh, it'll go a long way um, so I'll start with the head. Um, so think of this build like, okay, top to bottom. So I'll start with the head. So first of all, uh, Ferreira Springs, retainer seats, um, the seals and, and other stuff for the head all ran around $990, uh, for me. Um, now that may seem like a very steep price. Uh, but don't forget, you still need valves. So I went with Ferreira, uh, competition valves. Those were 365. So right there, you're looking at 1355 just for the head, just, just to upgrade, uh, the parts. And, uh, just to note, I did not go with the popular K2082, uh, head swap. I just, uh, went with just let's build this K series engine. Um, um, next we'll go to pistons. Um, I, for those, I went with, uh, Trump pistons because they come with upgraded wristbands. So if you're buying some pistons out there and you're doing all of this, you want to upgrade the wristbands. Um, and these were included in the price. So for 475, I went ahead and got the pistons. So right now for, for the block, that's just talking about rods and pistons, another 840 bucks. There you go up next well head studs head studs they're weird because they bolt onto the the block but they're are they part of the head i don't know but for head studs i went with inline pro head studs those were 220 dollars there you go now the part that surprised me the most the part that i thought was actually kind of expensive is the stuff that I, you need to buy from the hana dealer for example I got uh, main bearings, a head gasket, uh, main bolts, timing chain, a tensioner. And for my preference, I went with the K2082 or the Type S oil pump. Uh, I don't think you should do an engine build without doing that oil pump or an oil pump upgrade for your, you know, ninth gen motor. That all ran me about a thousand bucks. I didn't expect bearings and, you know, bolts and stuff to cost me that much money, but they did. Um, I guess in that price tag, I should also add that I bought coolant from Honda, but that's what, like 20 bucks a bottle. I bought three bottles. There you go. There you have it. So, uh, the grand total for this build so far, um, it's 3,415 bucks. Um, is that a lot of money? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a lot of money, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't just drop it all at once. I did my own thing and I did my research. I took my time. I spent about, you know, three, four, three months, four months, maybe preparing for, for the stuff. Just, you know, you know, sell some stuff here, buy some stuff there. Um, so that's, that's what we're looking at there. If, if you're interested in building your engine, um, now you know that you should at least budget for 3,500 for parts. I don't know what you're going to spend on labor. Uh, I'm doing most of the labor myself. I have friends who are very, you know, 
versed in the art of building engines. Um, but if you want to get an idea, if I wanted to get the head uh, built by a shop here, an engine builder, that would have cost me another $650. I don't know what the uh, block or motor assembly would have cost me. I'm guessing probably around the same. Um, so if you're if you're looking to do this through a shop, I would say find someone close to you. You could you could go with uh, some of the popular guys out there like Four Piston. Um, there's another there's another shop I can't remember right now, but uh, long the the long and short of it is. Um, you can save a lot of money, obviously, with anything if you do the work yourself. This is not something easy. Um, I have friends who are going to help me out, and and I'm grateful for that. But in the end, I'm also going to learn something myself. I, I took the motor apart all by myself, and that was that was great. That's actually pretty easy. I've done that kind of stuff before. But um, I'm not really shy about putting the motor back together. It's really just torque specs, clearances, and follow the manual do your research. Um, so with that, I'll leave you guys there. I look forward to doing another video for you. Um, Jose should be here sometime this week and we're going to do a ton of shooting on, you know, building the trans, building the, uh, the engine. And, um, I'll do another one of these videos on the transmission because that's also getting built, but I don't want to include it in this video. This is specifically, Hey, you want to build your, your, uh, your motor. That's what it's going to cost you. Um, so with that, I leave you all. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Like it. Thumbs up. Uh, come back for more. Bye.